how to use your hair color palette 3. In this video, I'm going to show you a hair color and style analysis with an example of my client. The first step in the analysis is to look at her chroma. Is she bright, medium or soft? And as you can clearly see, she is not a bright as the bright colors are way too overpowering. There is a lot of distance between the color and her. It's not a wearable chroma for her. While medium chroma is much better for her, there's not much distance between the color and her. It does not drive the attention to the color but it enhances her features and soft chroma colors will not have enough energy for her color type analyzing her depth i want to find out whether she's deep medium or light meaning how light or dark are her features overall this is not her natural hair color but her original hair color is very close when it comes to depth to this hair color which means that she's not a deep depth type but rather a medium depth type next is contrast how high or low is the contrast between her hair and her skin tone high contrast will be overpowering for her while medium contrast will be just the right amount of energy between the colors to emphasize her features and to help her look more radiant next i analyze her root skin color and there are three possible ones red blue and yellow and in her case it is a blue root skin color which is based in an orange i also analyze the eye color as the hair color in general needs to be flattering not only for your skin tone but your overall color type you need to be looking beautiful with all your features and not just your skin tone so the hair color needs to harmonize not only with your skin tone but with your eyes as well her eyes are also in the blue spectrum because generally speaking for the root skin colors there are only very few possible eye colors as you can see here for red you will generally see these eye colors and for blue you will see these eye colors while for the yellow root skin color you will generally find these eye colors with a few exceptions next up i also analyze the face shape to find the right hairstyles for my client you have six possible face shapes from square to heart and analyzing my client i can clearly see that her face shape is diamond the main feature of a diamond face is that you have a more narrow forehead and a more narrow jaw while the widest area in your face are around your cheeks and your cheek bones now let's get to the six hairstyles that I would recommend my clients to wear. And in these examples, only the hairstyle plays a role and the hair color is just roughly chosen, a general color. I will get to the real colors, to her three best colors, just in a second once I have introduced all the six hairstyles. So this is the first example, a short bob that is only slightly layered here in this section. The next one is a wavy bob where the layers are more extended to the top and she can create beautiful hairstyles with this particular haircut that will emphasize her particular face shape and will draw attention to her eye area and cheekbones. The next one is a long bob that is also very flattering for diamond face shapes as it is mainly straight and does emphasize the face shape especially in this area and it is slightly layered if anything then just around here right it's not a harsh layered hairstyle and for diamond face shapes i would always recommend going more for a straight look and not adding a lot of curls or waves around the face because it will not harmonize with your face shape it will be very dissonant with your face shape as you already have an angle so to speak the diamond around your cheekbones the next one is a layered lob which is slightly longer than a bob a shoulder long bob and the layers here are a little bit more extended to the top which can create beautiful bigger waves in your hair anything that has smaller curls will just look very dissonant with your face shape so you can wear the most natural hairstyles with your face shape as the straight hair will always emphasize your beautiful face shape the best the next one is a medium length that can go up to your chest so to speak and the layers can be as big as you want them to be not too big though depending on your hair structure uh, the thinner your hair the smaller the layers should be not all too 
large the area should be between the layers as it will thin out your hair. And the last one is long layers. You can grow your hair as long as you want and you can decide the longer the hair gets depending on the weight of your hair when it grows long you can decide how large you want your layers to be again not overdoing the layers here again because it will thin out your hair too much and for a caucasian hair type it usually is best to not do extreme layers now let's get to the three hair colors that i recommend my client the, her three best hair colors. The first one is a soft platinum. Anything that has a yellow hue in the hair will look very dissonant with her particular skin tone. So she needs to go into the platinum spectrum and paying very close attention to the softness of the color. It should never be pure platinum. As you can see here, this is not a pure platinum. It should be based in an orange and it should have a warm quality to it. So not all the way grayish or white. Um, as you can see here down here, this is like the best type of platinum that she should go for. Not all the way white or bright platinum. So for her hairstyles, it will be extremely important to always go with a medium soft chroma color to look the best on her because she is a medium chroma type. The next one is a soft copper that will look very beautiful on her because of her skin tone particularly. She has a skin tone based very close to the red orange. So whenever the copper is in that range, in that color range, it will emphasize her skin tone beautifully. And it will also emphasize her eyes as these two colors are complementary. Blue and orange are complementary, so it will brighten up her color type. She will move from a medium chroma type more into a brighter chroma type. So this is the hair color that will brighten up her color type entirely while the softer platinum will soften up her look. So depending on what she wants to go for, she can decide whether to go with a softer look or a more brighter look or a neutral one and that she can achieve with this soft brown that is again in the medium chroma spectrum. This is the most important part about every single hair color that she chooses. Anything darker than this brown will be too overpowering for her. So she needs to make sure that this is the darkest type of brown that she chooses. And this is the final product that you get your hair color palette with your three colors, color names and hex codes and your single color cards with every single hair color that you can easily show to your hairdresser and tell him or her, this is the color that I want to go for. Or if you want to be even more precise, you can show any of the pictures that you will also get on a single color card of your hairstyle. You can tell the hairdresser, I want to go for this hairstyle, for example, combined with this particular hair color. This will make it so much easier for your hairdresser to really know what you're going for. And your hairdresser will be able to mix the exact color that you want to have and you will get the best result. By the way, if you want to know your best hair colors, you can book your hair color palette 3 or 12 at the link in the description. And if you love this video, leave a like and leave a comment. All your questions are welcome in the comments as well. I'm answering them all. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to elevate your your style and health this year and I recommend watching this video next.